So I've had loads of sort of questions, emails and messages about getting some old beef or meat and turn it into something beautiful. We're going to do that today. It's a really simple boiling out method before we add everything else. So yeah, welcome back to How To Cook We. So I've got about one kg or 2.2 pounds of this stewing beef. Now I've cut it into nice kind of, you know, decent sized chunks. This is not the best quality. It's a stewer, so quite tough. Uh, the process we're going to do today is to get it beautiful. So we're going to fry it up, cook it up. We're going to boil it out a little bit. So let's get moving. So you're going to need a pot pan or something like that. I'm going to use this kind of wok type thing. It's easy for you to guys to see. I've got some oil in there. I'm using olive oil. You could use some other oil if you want. The heat's on. Above medium heat. We're going to get all of this meat in there, which looks fabulous. But like I say, it's a real stewer. It's tough as an old boot, this is, I'll tell you. So in it goes. Above medium heat, just for about four minutes, we're going to throw it around in the pan. And then we're going to add some flavour to it. I mean, you can go in any direction you want with it. So yeah, see in about four minutes. So I've just got a little bit of colour on there, haven't we? I mean completely raw in the center let's just get some salt and pepper in there a couple of nice pinches of pepper and then I'm just gonna add now a tablespoon of garlic you could be adding some other flavors at this point we're gonna cook this again for another four minutes above medium heat stirring it fairly often so if this was a really nice cut of beef I'd now be adding my onions some other vegetables maybe but yeah no way like I say it's like a bloody shoe this is like a leather shoe but fear not what we're gonna do now is we're gonna get some water and we're going to cover it. You could use stock if you want. And what we're going to do is we're going to boil it out. So don't put a lid on it. Get the heat up a bit higher now. Let it boil, boil, boil. It will steam out, evaporate. And that's going to really, really help the meat. If you've got a pressure cooker, you could pop it in there. It will save you at least double the time. Okay, so that's been going for like 25 to 30 minutes. I know it's quite a long time, but you've really done yourself a great favor here because that's going to be great now. So look, if that's all you need to know, I'll see you soon. Lots of love to you. But I'm going to now make a bit of a stew with this. So one cup of onion in that goes. And I've got a couple of really chunky cut carrots there. They're going to go in right now. And I'm going to go for about another three or four minutes on a fairly lively high heat. And then I'm going to be adding a bit more veg to this. It's going to be a tomato based thing. Beautiful. Fabulous. Okay, next up, we're going to add some potatoes. And these really are nice and chunky. I like them really big in there. And again, let's go for about another three or four minutes. Stay on this lively heat. And move it around fairly often. Excellent. Next up for me, I'm going to go with one eggplant. And again, chunky cut. We're going to re-season this. We did season it when we boiled out the meat. But a bit more now. Salt and pepper. And then I've got a couple of teaspoons here of chilli powder and cumin powder. Three minutes this time. Keep it moving all the time. lovely really lovely okay we've got a couple of cans here of tomatoes 
regular size cans, you know the ones, 400 ml each. We're going to roughly break those tomatoes in. I'm going to add a little bit of water. You could add some stock at this point if you want, but I'm just going with water. I'm going to stay on this high heat for about another five or six minutes. I'm going to be giving it a stir every now and then. This is going to be absolutely bloody banging. Look at that, really, really happy with this. Now look, I've got one more veg to add. I'm gonna add in some bell pepper. I've used half a red, half a green, as you can see. If you want, get some mushrooms in there, get some celery in there, get some, you know, chickpeas in here. Up to you what you wanna stick in. Zucchini's good in here as well, isn't it? Right, what we're gonna do now, we're gonna pop a lid on this. I'm gonna go nice and low, nice simmer. Let me just do that. What you're looking for is your hardest vegetables to be cooked. So the potatoes and the carrots, get them nice and tender. Probably gonna be about, about another eight or nine minutes. Okay, perfect. Off goes the heat. You can see the potatoes are breaking nicely. That is really, really good. But I suppose this video is all about that beef, isn't it? And I'm telling you now, we've turned some old stewing beef into something really special. If you want, get some chopped parsley in that, run it through there. Let me get that on the plate. Okay, look, I've just pulled a few pieces out there, steaming hot that is, but I just wanna show you that, let's have a look. Really soft now, and I'm telling you, this really was a brute. Nice and soft, beautiful. Okay, and there you go. Really, really beautiful that is. Really tasty. I hope you enjoyed that. I hope that's helped and answered a lot of questions that I always get. I'll see you soon. Lots of love. Well, well done for making it to the end of the video. I really appreciate it. I appreciate all of you that follow the channel on a regular basis. You know who you are. There's loads of you. I'm cooking away like nonstop. As you can see, I've got some lovely food right in front of me here. We're just about to be, start our cookbook. We're doing our cookbook at the moment, which is going to take a long time to come out. I know a lot of you have been asking for it, but yeah, it's going to take a while, lots to do. But yeah, cooking away. Chef June is working really hard on the channel as well, doing his Filipino food in Tugalo. Rahel's got her own channel now doing the Ethiopian food, which is marvellous. It is in Amharic, the national language of Ethiopia. But check it out because she really, really is fantastic. I'm doing good. I hope you're doing great. Give us a thumbs up. Leave us a comment. I do actually try and get back to everyone who leaves a comment for me. Subscribe, subscribe to the channel, all that good stuff. There's social media knocking about, you know, Instagram and Facebook and all that stuff if you want to check it out. But that's it. Keep safe. Keep well. Lots of love.